No! Eight o'clock. I just got out of the shower. Uh, there's like a 40% chance of rain right now. And as much as I want to start my journey riding a moped in the rain, I don't. So I'm going to go out and get some coffee with my dad first. Uh, and I got to call the DNR. Because, man, their website's all dumb and stuff. Trying to figure out whether I need permits for camping or permits for parking or whatever. So I don't want my moped towed on day one. Like they're going to tow it. I don't want my moped lifted up by the authorities on day one. <laughs> I get up in the morning. I drink my cup of coffee. I'm keeping it moving. I'm grinding for some day. My pops always ask me, where on earth is adventure? So I called the Secretary of State to get a recreational sticker. On the website it says that they have one for mopeds. And I'm asking the dude and he's like, oh, I don't know, blah, 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 blah. Go get it from a state park. I was like, I'm not going to a state park, dude. I'm trying to make an appointment at the Secretary of State because there's not one in my route. Well then, just go, what do you mean, well then, give me what the fuck I'm asking for, dude. Oh, you know what? No, screw it. I'm just gonna go. So, I just got off the phone with an officer from the, uh, area that I was gonna be going to, and he said that not only has there been lots of motorcycle and moped thefts in the area, even during the daytime, apparently the North Country Trail goes through three different parks that you're not allowed to camp at. What in the F is the point of having a backpacking trail that you can't camp on? I do not understand why this is so difficult just to find a trail to, to backpack. This is ridiculous. So now I found this Yankee Springs recreational area. They got rustic camp spots. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I don't even know what I need to do or where. I was gonna, there's campgrounds, rustic camp, campgrounds around here? Yes. Where do I go for that? To uh, pay? To pay for one? Where are you here? Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, and then I need a recreation okay. pass also? Yes. Okay, I do not have one, so I will need that also. Okay. Is this considered a... Moped. Moped? Yeah. I got a whole picnic table. That's cool. Looks like I'm gonna set up on one of these trees over here. I'm gonna have to get some warmer riding gear sooner than later. Well, I guess I'm gonna get camp set up then. Actually. Before I set up camp, I'm gonna start a fire. I'm cold. And uh, brew up some drugs to drink. You know, some of that coffee.
that coffee brew for like six minutes, I think I can set up camp easy in six minutes. Easy. Thanks to one win. But. <clears throat> My favorite part about these one win hammocks is the uh, the cinch sacks that they got. It's got a cinch on both sides, so it's easy to take it out of the bag and hang it at the same time. The other thing I really like about it is it's got this fastener that just tightens by tension. So rather than having different loops that you gotta hook a carabine or two different places to try and get the right height, you just hook her right on up and then adjust by their uh, ridge line. adjusting it and stuff but that ridge line that goes across the top is adjustable so you can adjust your angle that the hammock is hanging on under quilt not one wind it's just something off Amazon I don't even know if it's gonna keep up to the ratings it says but we'll see probably gonna rain so I'm definitely throwing the tarp up but uh or the rain fly but I'll show you how this windstock works before I do that pulls out that's it I already got it cinched onto one side so it's already closed on that side all you gotta do is pull it through and then it's a bottom entry things cool as hell one wind I think it's been over six minutes because I've been talking and stuff, so I'm gonna drink some coffee. <laughs> so the reason this one wind rain fly is so BA. These flaps here will completely enclose it. Look at that. And then of course they can get held open too. All right, so. I've had these on my head this whole time. Why didn't you guys say anything? Oh my god. <laughs> so that's the hammocking system. I think it's pretty sweet. And for the money and how much it weighs, like, one wind. Y'all can't be beat, bro. Sponsor me. Please. I want to hit a trail and find some food. Ah, just kidding. Maximum security. I am over here in deep lake. I don't even know where in deep lake I'm at. Let's go that way. I don't like how close they are to poison ivy, so I'm gonna keep walking. Mm -hmm. Well, looks like I about found my kitchen. Let's go cook. Uh. 
I'm just kidding. Don't. Don't ever. That brightly nice, beautiful white mushroom with that skirt like that right there. Yeah, that's a destroying angel. Yo! And just like that, I'm eating good tonight. This guy here is your maitake. We're head of the woods. Uh, very, very good mushroom. Don't forget to leave some for the animals. They like it too. Man, where the heck's this soup bowl? I've just been taking random turns and stuff. I don't even know how I'm gonna figure out how to get back. But I found the devil's soup bowl and that's all that matters right now. Holy cow. Uh, I guess just remember, if you ever come across a fork in your road in life, just go left, because you never want to be right. <laughs> now this is adventure. This is what I'm talking about, man. I almost just lost my leg. Dead forever. <sighs> cool. <clears throat> Danger. <clears throat> Excitement. <clears throat> End of the line. This is it. Where's the soup? Man. Call that a day. Bye.